I, I, I know good trolling when I see it. I'd like to think. I do it a little bit. I really, I appreciate a good troll. I go, wow, that's, that guy's pissing people off. Damian Cox is like my hero half the time. Like really smart stuff. Really good. The one thing I'm now, I now consider very old, extremely old, is the Kessel Sagan thing. I think Kessel Sagan is so played out, it, it bores me. It bores me. Yet, in the middle of all this Friday night, and it bled into the weekend, that's the only trolling you saw. That and Kevin Shattenkirk's head. And I felt sorry for the kid, because Drew Doughty slams him during the draft. Kevin Shattenkirk has some issues follically. I'll get there too. McAuliffe can sympathize. But Drew Doughty, after four cups in, and those of you watching know what I'm talking about, just destroys the guy. Now, I don't know their relationship, but I'm like, whoa! Kevin just got shat and kirked all over. Now, I'm all for boozing guys up for the, for the fantasy draft. I'm, I'm all for that. Believe me. But the, the, the Kessel Sagan trolling was ridiculous. For those who didn't watch and don't know what I'm talking about, Kessel's what, third pick, whatever it was? Second pick, sorry, second pick. Ryan Johansson is first to Nick Foligno's team. Columbus goes crazy. Yeah, Columbus. And uh, then Jonathan Taves who I love, comes out and does the following. Roll it. You know, it uh, Phil had a tough one a couple years ago. I think he deserved to uh, be at the top end of the draft this year, and I think the three of us were just talking that he's, he's one of the most coachable players out there, so we're, <laughs> we're happy to have him on our team. Here we go. Here we go. So Kessel's the butt of the joke in year one going last. I don't, I don't know if anyone got him ready for being the butt of the joke again, for whatever reason. And we even, I've criticized Phil. A lot of people in the city have criticized Phil. Obviously, the Ron Wilson quote referred to there from Jonathan Tapes. I'm thinking to myself, okay, Kess, they, got, they got you, Phil. They got you. They got you. On to the draft. You know, let's see where Yaroslav Halak's going to go. That's what we're all thinking about. Who's getting Yaroslav Halak? No one's saying that. No one. Not even in Long Island. So then the guys, four cups in, come up with an idea because Sagan's on the other team. No trade has happened in fantasy draft history. They're be Millard was begging those guys to make a deal. They were allowed one. I think it's a great idea. You can make a deal. You can have some fun with it. Where do they go with the trolling on this one? This is self-explanatory. I've always wanted to do this. We have a trade to announce. <laughs> uh, it's, it's worked out for both teams in the past, so we're going to go with history here, and uh, we're going to trade uh, Tyler Sagan for Phil Kessel. <laughs> a little okay? bit of history repeating I, here. I hope, that, I hope that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do, do, you, do you see the, the sense of humor here? And 15 first-round eh? draft picks. All right, well, you got to get up. You got to get over there. I'm sorry, Phil. Say your goodbyes. <laughs> really? Really? Re 2012 call that wants his humor back. Really? All right, so there's that. Skills competition. We're not done. We're not done with that. Skills competition. Saturday night. Head-to-head -head race, which I like. And actually, I like the, um, they put microchips inside the jerseys and they got, they got guys' speed and how, how fast they're going. And it's actually, like, I kind of like that stuff. And, and NHL.com is going to make a lot of changes analytically to the site. They kinda, they're kind of, they're going a certain way with it. I don't mind that at all. But head-to-head, but -head, what's the race? Head-to-head. -head. Skills competition. Head-to-head. -head. Pick two names. Take two seconds. I'll wait. I'll give you five. Kessel Sagan. I got so angry, the cap almost hit me in the face of the pen. So they put Sagan and Kessel head to head together. Wow, that's creative. Ho hardy, har, har, har. That's, I, you know what? That's the first time anyone's ever placed those two together, ever, in life. Ever. Ever. And for the record, Kessel beat him. But Sagan has 28 goals and is probably going to, you know, 
He's having a great year. So that's another thing. By now, I'm not laughing at this. I just think it's old. I don't know, I don't know who in either market's laughing at this other than the guys. This is just for them. All right, last but not least, this clip kind of surfaced as the weekend came to a close last night. I hadn't seen this. I believe this is on the way to the game yesterday in Columbus. Carey Price is being followed by a camera, and he sees someone outside at Nationwide Arena wearing a Kessel 81. So he's in a bus on the way to the game, and I saw the surface on sportsnet.ca last night. This, is, this one's self-explanatory, too. Play it. There's a Kessel jersey right there. You'll throw it on the ice. <laughs> There's a Kessel jersey over there. You think they'll throw it on the ice? It's, it's, it's done. It's done. And what concerns me, listen, if you're the Leafs, this whole thing, and don't, don't tweet me and tell me I'm overselling this. Do you know who's three feet to the left at the draft watching and laughing this and catching all of this is Steven Stamkos. His contract will end eventually. There are guys in that room whose contracts will end eventually. The Leafs are a joke to people, and not just outside of hockey. This was the punchline the whole damn weekend. You think the media is your problem in this city? The players were laughing at your ass the entire time, and it wasn't cute. It wasn't. The image problem this organization has internally is shocking to me. Shocking. Externally, you see it all the time. That doesn't shock me. Guys in the league, elite players, captains, guys getting paid are laughing their ass off at the organization. And I felt for Phil in the middle of it. I really did. I don't know how you flip that around. But if you think jer fans throwing jerseys and media are your issues PR-wise, look at how most guys in that room reacted to a leaf. Or maybe I'm just overselling the entire thing. But I think there's a bit of an issue here. 